New Hampshire DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. When stopping while leaning in a curb, the best course of action is to A. Use your rear brake only B. Try to make the motorcycle perpendicular to the road C. Never stop in a curve D. Use your lean to enhance braking 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. When stopping in a curb, you should make the motorcycle as perpendicular to the road as possible. Leaning over makes stopping dangerous. Question 2. When crossing a very slippery surface, you should A. Accelerate or maintain speed B. Pull in the clutch and coast. C. Use the front brake only. D. Stop and walk the bike across. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. When crossing a very slippery surface, you should pull in the clutch and go slowly. Question 3. If your motorcycle is equipped with a windshield, A. A helmet is not required. B. You may wear glasses instead of a face shield. C. You must still wear goggles or face protection. D. You must not wear goggles or face protection. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will not protect your eyes from the wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses won't keep your eyes from watering, and they might blow off when you turn your head while riding. Question 4. Why are curves a common place for motorcycle crashes? A. It is difficult to steer a motorcycle. B. Motorcycles can stay in one lane position while moving through a turn. C. Leaning in curves causes motorcycles to tip over. D. Motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve if not careful. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Curves are a common place for motorcycle crashes because motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve and could end up in another lane if the driver is not careful. Question 5. When traveling in a group, you should never ride A. Two abreast B. With more than three motorcycles together C. In a staggered formation D. Single file 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When traveling in a group, you should never ride too abreast. Motorcycles require a full length to operate safely. Question 6. Generally, fill in the blank should be avoided. A. The left lane portion. B. The center lane portion. C. The left and center lane portions. D. The right lane portion. 5. 4. 3 2 1 Enter B. Generally, the center lane portion should be avoided because oil and fluid buildup can make the road slippery. Question 7. In which of the following situations should you and OT increase your following distance? A. On slippery roads. B. When being tailgated. C. In heavy traffic. D. When riding in a group. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When riding in a group, you do not need to increase your following distance because it may encourage other drivers to cut in front of you. Question 8. 
Rolling on the throttle should be done in which of the following situations? A. Descending a hill. B. Passing a row of parked cars. C. To help stabilize while in a turn. D. Preparing to stop. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Rolling on the throttle should be done when turning or on a curve in order to stabilize the motorcycle. Question 9. If your motorcycle was made before 1978, you must remember to A. Turn the headlight on when riding at all times. B. Get a special license. C. Avoid carrying passengers. D. Only ride during the day. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If your motorcycle is older than 1978, you must remember to turn on the headlight at all times. Motorcycles made after 1978 automatically turn on the headlight. Question 10. The best way to be seen by other drivers is to A. Only ride during the day. B. Ride in the left lane position. C. Make sure your headlight is turned on. D. Wear a bright helmet. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The best way to be seen by other drivers is to make sure your headlight is turned on. Question 11. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by A. Swerving from side to side. B. Rising slightly off the seat. C. Applying the brake lightly. D. Taking your feet off the footrests. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by rising slightly off the seat. Question 12. When seated properly on your motorcycle, your arms should be A. Slightly bent at the elbows B. Bent at a 90 degree angle C. Positioned with your hands above your elbows D. Locked at the elbows 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When seated properly on your motorcycle, your arms should be slightly bent. It allows you to turn safely and accurately. Question 13. Riding in the center of the lane position is best for A. Being seen by the driver in front of you. B. Changing lanes. C. Preparing to pass other vehicles. D. Avoiding hazards from parked cars. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. The center of the lane position is the best one for being seen by the driver in front of you. Drivers look in their rear view mirrors more often than their side mirrors. Question 14. When parking in a parallel parking space next to a curb, position the motorcycle. A. At an angle with the front wheel on the curb. B. At an angle with the rear wheel on the curb. C. At an angle with the rear wheel to the curb. D. At an angle with the front wheel to the curb. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If parking in a parallel parking space next to a curb, Position the motorcycle at an angle with the rear wheel to the curb. Note, some cities have ordinances that require motorcycles to park parallel to the curb. Question 15. Which brake is more important? A. The front, because it prevents skidding. B. The rear, 
because it provides 70% of the stopping power. C. The rear, because it prevents skidding. D. The front, because it provides 70% of the stopping power. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. The front brake is more important than rear brake because it provides 70% of the stopping power. However, the most effective braking method is to always use both brakes. Question 16. Because cars merging onto the highway may not see you, you should A. Flash your brake light B. Move to a farther lane if possible C. Pull in the clutch D. Move into the center lane position 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Because cars merging onto the highway may not see you, you should move into a farther lane if possible. Question 17. When driving through a turn, your lane position should A. Change to give you the best view B. Be in the center of the lane C. Stay as close to the edge of the road as possible D. Stay as close to the center line as possible 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When driving through a turn, your lane position should change to give you the best view of possible hazards ahead. Question 18. If the rear wheel locks, you should A. Release the brake B. Grab the front brake C. Not release the brake D. Increase the throttle 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. Question 19. Which of the following surfaces is the most hazardous for a motorcycle to ride on? A. Gravel roads B. Newly paved roads C. Rural roads D. Multi-lane highways 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Gravel roads are the most hazardous for a motorcycle to ride on because they provide the least amount of traction. Question 20. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to A. Slow down before you get to the slippery surface. B. Drag your feet on the ground. C. Ride on the shoulder of the road. D. Do all of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to slow down as much as possible before you get to it. Question 21. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are around. B. Only if you may not be seen by other vehicles. C. Every time you plan to turn or change lanes. D. In cities but not in rural areas. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Signal lights should be used every time you plan to turn or change lanes. Question 22. How is maximum straight line braking achieved? A. Apply only the rear brake. B. Apply only the front brake. C. Pull the kill engine switch. D. Fully apply both brakes. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. 
Answer D. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by fully applying both the front and rear brake without locking them. Question 23. How can you avoid riding in the blind spot of another vehicle? A. Find a place without traffic on either side. B. Ride faster than the speed limit. C. Ride at the same speed as vehicles you are beside. D. Only ride in the left of the lean position. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You can avoid riding in the blind spot of another vehicle by adjusting your speed, so you have a place without traffic on either side. Question 24. When should the right lane position be avoided? A. It should never be avoided. B. When being passed by another vehicle. C. When riding through a school zone. D. When there is a hazard in the center of the road. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. The right lane position should be avoided when being passed by another vehicle. It could encourage the vehicle to move back into your lane too soon. Question 25. A motorcycle is less visible than a car because it A drives faster than a car. B does not have as many lights. C has a quieter engine. D has a smaller profile. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. A motorcycle is less visible than a car because it has a smaller profile. Take extra care to stay visible while riding. Question 26. The positions within a lane that are available to a motorcycle are A. Left and right B. 1, 2, 3, and 4 C. Left, center, and right D. Center only 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. In each lane of traffic, there are three positions available to a motorcycle, left, right, and center. Question 27. What is the best lane position for being seen? A. The best lane position changes depending on the situation. B. The center of the lane. C. The left part of the lane. D. The right part of the lane. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. In general, there is no single best position for riders to be seen and to maintain a space cushion around the motorcycle. No portion of the lane needs to be avoided, including the center. An experienced rider changes position from one side of the lane to another as traffic conditions change. Question 28. When parked along the roadside, you should park A. Parallel to the curb B. With your front tire touching the curb C. On the curb D. With your rear tire touching the curb 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. While parked along the roadside you should park with your rear tire touching the curb. Question 29. If your motorcycle begins to wobble, the best way to stop it is to A. Apply the rear brake B. Close the throttle gradually C. Apply the front brake D. Accelerate out of the wobble 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. If your motorcycle begins to wobble, the best way to stop it is to close the throttle gradually. Applying the brakes or trying to accelerate out of it can make it worse. 
Question 30. Motorcycles can slip on grease left by cars on the road. Where are these most likely to be found? A. On gravel roads. B. At busy intersections. C. On bridges and overpasses. D. On multi-lane highways. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Motorcycles can slip on grease left by cars on the road. These strips can be found at busy intersections where cars tend to remain stopped for longer periods of time. Question 31. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands. A. You can only ride in first gear. B. You must not ride the motorcycle. C. Ride under 30 mph. D. Ride in residential areas only. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands, you must not ride the motorcycle. Both hands are required for riding. Question 32. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways, but the first effect is to your A. Reaction time B. Balance C. Vision D. Judgment 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways. But the first effect is to your judgment. Even if you do not feel other effects, you could be making dangerous decisions. Question 33. Motorcycle drivers cannot drive on highways. A. During rush hour. B. Without proper sunglasses. C. Unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. D. At night, because your lights aren't bright enough. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. As a motorcycle, you cannot drive on highways unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. Question 34. The press step of turning means that you press A. Your feet on the foot pegs. B. The handle grip of the direction in which you are turning. C. The clutch lever. D. The front or rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. The press step of turning means that you press the handle grip of the direction in which you are turning. Question 35. If you are riding in a group and you need to pass the vehicle in front of you. A. Pass as a whole group. B. Pass one rider at a time. C. Never pass while riding in a group. D. Pass in pairs. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. If you are riding in a group and you need to pass the vehicle in front of you, it is safest to pass one at a time. Question 36. When riding in a group, you can help ensure the group stays together by A. Riding in pairs B. Riding single file C. Checking your mirrors frequently D. Placing beginners at the front 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When riding in a group, you can help ensure the group stays together by checking your mirrors frequently. Question 37. How can you protect yourself from injury during a collision? A. Try to land with your arms first. B. Roll away from the motorcycle. C. Try to jump off the bike before hitting the ground. 
D. Wear protected motorcycle clothes and gear. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Help protect yourself from injury during a collision by wearing protected motorcycle clothes and gear. Question 38. When riding through a curb, the most effective lane position. A is any lane position as long as you maintain it. B will change throughout the curve. C is the right of the lane position. D is in the center of the lane position. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When riding through a curb, the most effective lane position will change throughout the curve. Use lane position to your advantage. Question 39. Which of the following affects your blood alcohol concentration? A. How fast you drink. B. The number of drinks you've had. C. How much you weigh. D. All of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. How fast you drink, the number of drinks you've had, and how much you weigh are all factors in your blood alcohol concentration. Question 40. In a single lane of traffic, there are, fill in the blank, lane positions for a motorcycle. A4 B2 C3 D5 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. There are three lane positions for a motorcycle in each lane of traffic. Question 41. The greatest chance of a collision with another vehicle is A on a hill B on a curve C in a parking lot D at an intersection 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The greatest chance of a collision with another vehicle is at an intersection. Question 42. Which of the following can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle? A. Over-the-counter medication. B. Prescription medication. C. Alcohol and drugs. D. All these answers are correct. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Prescription medication, over-the-counter medication, alcohol, and drugs can all affect your ability to ride. Question 43. Which of the following does NOT increase your safety when riding at night? A. Wearing reflective coating. B. Changing your lane position. C. Passing slower vehicles. D. Decreasing your speed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Passing vehicles at night does not increase your safety. It can be dangerous and should be done with caution. Question 44. A hazardous place for motorcycles to travel is A on rural roads B on freeways C in school zones D at intersections 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. A hazardous place for motorcycles to travel is at intersections because many cars are doing different things and may not see the motorcycle. Question 45. 
studies have shown that most crashes involved riders who a. Underbrake the front tire and overbrake the rear. B. Did not separate braking from swerving or who did not swerve when it was appropriate to do so. C. Lacked one of the above skills. D. Lacked none of the above skills. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Studies have shown that most riders involved in crashes under brack the front tire and over brack the rear, did not separate braking from swerving, or did not choose to swerve when it was appropriate to do so. Question 46. When making a routine stop at a stop sign, you should A. Use the front brake only. B. Use both front and rear brakes. C. Use the rear brake only. D. Downshift until rolling to a stop. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When making a routine stop at a stop sign, you should use both front and rear brakes. Question 47. Other than wearing bright clothing, how can you increase your visibility? A. Wearing reflective clothing. B. Decreasing your speed. C. Wearing a full face helmet. D. Riding only in the left of the lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Other than wearing bright clothing, you can also increase your visibility by wearing reflective clothing. This is especially helpful at night. Question 48. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by A. The left hand lever B. A button on the hand grip C. The right hand lever D. A foot pedal 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by the foot pedal. The front brake is operated by the hand lever. Question 49. Fill in the blank. Can cause your motorcycle to wobble. A. Carrying a passenger. B. Riding a motorcycle that is too big. C. Improper braking technique. D. Improper loading of cargo. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Improper loading of cargo can cause your motorcycle to wobble. Make sure you load cargo evenly to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 50. Riding alongside a car can be dangerous because A. Objects may be thrown out the window. B. You may be riding in a blind spot. C. You could be hit by an extended side mirror. D. Any of these could happen. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Riding alongside a car can be dangerous because you may be riding in a blind spot. Objects could be thrown from a window and hit you, or you could collide with an extended side mirror. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.